Here's a little easier way to build this water bottle pulse motor on a countertop rather than using the coat hanger. Let's use big paper clips. And this worked out real well. You just take the paper clip, these big paper clips, and you bend it open so it looks like that. And that makes your structure, your pivot point. And you just tape it down to the countertop with some duct tape, strong tape, one on either end. And that's your uh, pivot point structure for your water bottle pulse motor. Just use these uh, refrigerator magnets. You, don't, you can use neodymium. You can use four, but you need at least two. Uh, read switch, um, what they call proximity switch. I gave a, a link in my last video where you can get them. They're actually pretty common. A little coil of uh, 30 gauge wire and a sewing machine bobbin, um, air cork coil. Got this running on a AA battery with an LED. Put across the reed switch. This is the circuit di diagram. I'm calling this the paper clip water bottle pulse motor. And uh, I'm lid motor. This is the 27th of uh, September 2014. And it's very simple. Uh, the LED will light up even though it's a 2.7 volt LED off of one and a half volt battery using the flyback or kickback from the coil. When the reed switch opens up, the energy in the coil, instead of trying to flow backwards, which it can, it flows up through this diode and back, back in this way. It's a higher voltage than what was actually put in in the first place. A jewel thief's work like this. Okay, now to put the holes in the bottle, I do recommend you use a stove. It's just the easiest way. But don't do it like that. That's a really, really bad idea. You're going to burn yourself. So use a pair of pliers or a net and uh, avoid burning yourself. But you don't have to get it very hot. Just get it hot enough to barely go through that plastic. If you get it too hot, you're going to make too big of a hole. Same thing with the back. Be dead center on that bottle when you put this through. If it's not, the bottle wobbles. And you don't want that to wobble. Okay, this is how it goes. See the LED flank flashing there? That's that uh, flyback or kickback from the, from the coil. And uh, I like this build. You could put this on a board uh, very easily. But uh, it's very simple. It doesn't make a lot of noise. Uh, you can study a lot of things about these pulse motors with this very, very simple setup. And it works. Now the reed switch, if you try to put too much amperage through it, they freeze up. They weld together. And uh, so I would recommend just use a, a double A or two of them together for something like this. If they do weld together, you flick it with your finger and they usually open back up again. But anyway, that's the little uh, paper clip water bottle pulse motor and um, it'd be a good fun uh, science project, science class project. Just the uh, thing about drilling the holes. I've tried to drill these, but trying to drill the hole in the bottom of the bottle uh, was very hard because it's rounded and I couldn't get the drill to go in there straight. Uh, this was a much easier way to do it. You just have to be very careful and use something so you don't burn yourself. Thanks for watching.